Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to Teachers Tech where I explore technology weekly. And this week I'm exploring Google Slides and more specifically the six new updates that Google Slides just released. Remember, I do these weekly tech tips and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. But let's get going on these new updates from Google Slides. So if you're a Google Keep person and you like to keep all your thoughts together in Google Keep, you'll like this first update. Just simply go up to Tools and Keep Notepad. So at this point, it connects you to your Google Keep. And what you can do now is any of the notes you've taken, I'm just gonna to go to this slide, you can drag in. So whether it's a list that you've created or maybe it's an idea for a presentation or something you wrote down and you wanna put it into your slideshow, you can just simply drag it over. You could use it for images, or even something you've drawn and you can just bring it right in. So if you use Google Keep a lot, uh, I think a lot of people will really enjoy this feature. This one I'm gonna really like because I think it uh, will save me a lot of time, especially in uh, cases where I'm using multiple, I want one slide used over and over again into different presentations and now I only have to update it once. So what I'm gonna do is link a slide. So I'm gonna take this one right here and copy this and I have another presentation opened here. So I'm just gonna go over to it and I'm just gonna right click and paste it over. Notice the option it gives you now is linked slides. So what is it gonna do for me? If I go back to my original one and I know that there's some changes that are gonna happen, let's say the dates in this timeline change and in my presentation, um, I have to make the change and let's say I've used this slide over and over in a few different places. What I can just simply do when I'm getting ready in that other presentation, I can go up to here, click update and it's gonna update. So it just very, any of the link stuff, I can just click that, update it and I have the newest one. The next one uh, are diagrams. So this uh, I think is something else that will make things look very professional. Look under the insert and you can see diagram. So if you want some really nice looking diagrams, just simply uh, pick one. So maybe you want a timeline, click on it and it shows some different timelines that you could choose. I'll just pick this one. And now it's in, you can just go simply go in and edit it. This is a feature I think I'm gonna uh, take advantage of. I like how professional everything looks in this one. Grid view, this is a nice option. Uh, you can, what you can do is go up to view, and now you can look at it as a grid. So if you wanna take a quick snapshot of all your slides to see things, you can just click on grid view. You can also, at the very bottom, it's right here uh, too. So you can go to your film strip view just through there or click it back and forth. Uh, the next one, skip slides. This is another handy feature. So let's say if you're giving a presentation to uh, a different audience each time and you thought, well, maybe they don't need to see this slide or maybe it's age specific and you wanna take out a few different slides. What you can do, so I have this one selected here. What you can do is go up to slide and just put skip slide. And notice how the eye crossed it out. So this time when I'm giving a presentation, it won't show that slide. It will just skip from seven to nine and the audience won't see this one. You can do this on multiple ones too. So I could go to this one, skip slide. So I could really target my slideshow without changing or without having to delete any slides. I can just go skip slide. And then when I think it's appropriate, all I would have to do is go back to it and uncheck it. Just go to each one and uncheck it and you'll have it back. Uh, lastly are the add-ons. So if you haven't looked yet, uh, add-ons, you can see I have one installed right here with Adobe Stock. So stock footage, if I wanted uh, some really good images uh, put into this one, if just simply click on get add-ons and you can see right now they have seven. I would imagine this will grow, uh, but things that just will help make your slideshows a little bit more professional with high, look, high quality images. And you can see we have Pear Deck and a few other for uh, different ones. Here's an icon one. So here, these are the six new updates from Google Slides. I hope you like this video presentation tonight on this. If you have, share this with a few other people. I hit that like button. And remember, like I said before, I do these weekly tech tips and if you like what you see tonight, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.